Good morning, YouTube. 20 past nine in the morning. And Skitty Kitty has uh, decided to come out and do a little bit of sunbaking in what is got to be about the most sheltered spot you could possibly find. He located this himself. We have the sun coming in here. We have all my clutter and clobber keeping the wind off him because it's still about you know, 10 or 11 degrees. But yeah, for a sick little old pussycat, he's still quite mobile. Yes, that's a boy. See? And he likes being patted. And his tail wags. He's having a lovely little time. This is actually the expedition to go over to his tent and see whether he wants to stay there. So he wants me to rub his face, even though it's very, very sore for him. He won't let me come up with um, a piece of tissue paper to try and clean the drool out from underneath his, his chin. But he's not drooling as much, and the drool isn't any more a, a blood-stained cirrus ooze. It's just sal saliva. Um, I've bought him some kitten food because he doesn't need to chew that. It's sort of like ground-up flesh. Um, so his mother is currently asleep in a motel, I think, in Deweysburg. And then when she wakes up from that and gets a bit of the jet lag out of her system, she's going to investigate how she goes about finding her way to her grandmother's place. And the daughter will ring the vet, and then the daughter will probably ring me and tell me what's going on. But basically the big game plan is that while ever he's walking around, and obviously kind of enjoying his life, sitting in the sun, being patted, being fed. He's not incontinent, he's sleeping, he's drinking and he's eating. He's able to jump up onto the bed when he wants to get onto the bed, he hasn't got to be carried around. I know the vet reckons that having a pathological fracture of your upper jaw because you've got cancer of the mouth is an imminent indication for euthanasia, but I don't know whether that's quite right. Does this pussycat look like he wants to be put down? Hmm? Did I look like I wanted to be put down nine months ago when I had a bloody potato-sized lump hanging out the side of my head and my neck? Well, they didn't put me down. So I didn't to put this little fella down either. Yeah. What do you reckon, pussy is catus? And as it was predicted, here he is, king of the tent. Bit of a mess, but you know, when you're in a hurry between working on the Saturday and getting on the bus on Sunday morning, flying halfway around the world, the old man will clean the tent up a bit before she comes home. And the pussycat's lord of all he surveys over here. I don't know whether he got himself lost going up to my shed or whether he might like to sit around the shed while I play around and potter on the workbench, perhaps. Difficult to know, but every morning as soon as the sun rises, he tries to get me to open the door and the couple of times that he has you know, been allowed out, he's come straight over here. Comes over to see whether his mum's home, I guess. But anyway, this is Skitty Kitty, still wagging his tail, still happy. Yeah. Oh, we're go and have a look outside. Yeah. Enjoy the view, darling. It's just me and you. I can't produce your mum for you, but I can give you the run of the clearing. What do you reckon, mate? Do you want to stay here or do you want to come over to the hut again? Yeah? I think I'd rather him over at the hut where I can keep an eye on him, but I think he might be happier here. We will work it out. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. I'm going to post this so that my daughter can have a look at it, assuming that she's got roaming time. 
Waterloo. We are going to go for a bit of a walk. We are exploring. We might be going to drink rainwater on top of the battery box. Certainly doesn't look like a cat that's ready to lie down and die. Contemplating the mysteries of life, the universe and everything, but not actually lying down waiting to die. we go. There is wet food here. No. No, don't want to eat that. This is good, eh? There we go. For a cat with a pathological jaw fracture, 4.1 kilograms and he's still eating. I haven't put any painkiller in that sachet because he had a double dose as a first loading dose last night and enough for an 8 kilogram cat. So I'm going to wait until well after lunch before I give him his maintenance dose which will be in the next sachet of food. And he's got to give him Oh, I suppose 24 hours to do the sachet, um, or rather 36 hours, because generally you put a sachet in there and he, he eats a bit and then he comes back to it and he comes back to it and then the next day you give him another sachet and there's still a bit of the first one there and he alternates between the two and he gets a bit of a bit of variety, but as soon as his medication is going in the cat food, then... Uh, I'm going to try and convince him to eat all of each sachet before moving on to the next one. And he does seem to like eating out of that particular tray. He, he didn't didn't want to approach the food that was over here in the usual spot. He kept, kept going to where he wants to go. There you go. So he doesn't like getting food stuck in the eroded crater in his mouth. But he does like eating, and once he's had his little bit of a spack attack and spitting, he does. He seems to like to lick his forepaws and then rub his face with his forepaws. And there you go. I can't really see whether I've got him in focus or not. I think I did. But anyway, that's the cat. Palliative care for cats is much, much, much more hands-on because you can pat them and stroke them and brush them and be a lot more interactive than when you're delivering palliative care to a kangaroo. But yeah, he's sniffing around trying to find where his mum's got to. Okay. Once again, that's enough. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.